This was close. Friday night game. Virginia Tech and North uh, North Carolina, 17-10. to 10, And Sam Howell looked like he had never seen a football before in his life. This, again, another one that was shocking to me. I should not have been shocked because we, if you go back and look at what Justin Fuente does in season openers, good gracious. He, he does this year after year after year, and it is not... It does not tell you what the rest of the season is going to look like because we can get all excited about Virginia Tech in this spot if we want to. But if you look at all of the advanced stats, Virginia Tech probably should have won this game by three touchdowns. I mean, they were up 14 to nothing at the half, and they only win 17 to 10, but they dominated. Dominated yeah. this game. Um, yeah. Ben asked Justin Fuente breaking through finally. I don't think that's what this means. Chris, what do you, what do you think here? I thought this could happen. I thought that that my biggest thing is is I think home field for for the big schools that are used to packing the stadium out is going to matter more this year than it's mattered in a long, long time. There was no question in my eyes. You're not walking into Blacksburg on the first time that these guys get to go to a football game in almost a year and a half, whatever, how long it's been, and and just taking a win. You're just not doing it. That place has too much pride. Too much tradition. The fan base is too strong. And and I just thought Fuente and these guys are talented enough and well-coached enough. They might not be the best team in the ACC, and they're not as well-coached as some others. It's fine. But they got too much pride. Too many things are going to go right for them this night. I thought they could win this game. I said multiple times I think they can win this game. Tyler jumps and, in on the chat, by the way. He said, I commented on your uh, Virginia Tech UNC preview earlier. You two were the only ones in your industry to say, you know Tech can win this game. And we, we said it both on the Bet US show and the SBR show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tech can absolutely win the game. I, I absolutely win this game. It was a five-and-a-half-point spread, but still. But like, I, Yeah, I thought they could win the game. So I'm definitely going to take the five-and-a-half head start and, and had some money on the money line. Here's the deal. The defensive line for – North Carolina is supposed to have one of the best offensive lines in the country. They brought back all five, and that's all we heard all year. Didn't matter that you lost those two great running backs because those great running backs were a product of a scheme and a system, and the offensive line is coming back. And this defensive front from Virginia Tech whipped the hell out of that offensive line all night long. I don't know how to appropriately grade Sam Howell on this game because I don't know, is he going to face a front like that again the rest of the year? Or is he actually going to have some time to try to make some plays? Is he really this bad? Because he looked bad. Or is that just Vatek? That defense could be legit. They could be special. And this could be something that catapults them to the middle upper tier pack of, of the of the ACC. I will, I will tell you this, the middle eight, we always talk about that. The middle eight here, not great in, in this situation for Sam Howell. Only one successful pass out of eight attempts for Sam Howell uh, between the, the ending of the second quarter and the beginning of the third quarter. I, I don't know what to make of Sam Howell at all after this because he, he was running for his life a lot of this, a lot of this game. That's right. I, I'm, not made, no, I'm not killing him completely. I'm not killing him completely. I, I do know him. this. All those Heisman votes, yeah, throw them in the trash. Yeah, we're, we're one and done. You have a game like this on national TV to start the season off, and you and you put up that performance. There's nothing you can do because you won't play another ranked opponent all damn year, probably. All right, the rest of your schedule is just too easy. Yeah, yeah. They uh, he had three interceptions, six sacks in this game. Success rate only thirty four percent. His EPA on this game minus fifteen point six seven. Like he, he bad cost his team. He, Big no, time. He was really bad. I I like I said though, he was bad. I I'm not projecting him to be awful the rest of the year simply because I don't know that they're gonna play another defense that good. Yeah, okay? it's entirely possible. I will tell you this. I I thought before the year, my everyone was telling me Miami and UNC, Miami and UNC. And and I kept saying Vatek, NC State, Boston College, like I think there are going to be a couple of teams that are better in the ACC than we expected. But I don't think it's the teams that everyone's telling me it's supposed to be. I, did, yeah, I could I be wrong. Say. When this thing's over with, week one could look like a fluke, and the three teams that I like could be trash, and the two teams that were supposed to be good could end up really good, and they just happen to run into a Bud Saw's week one. That could absolutely happen. 
Yes. But I'll take my three over the other two all day long. All day long right now. By the way, Braxton Burmeister looked fantastic in this game. Like, looked in complete control. Sam Howe didn't even look like the best quarterback in the game. Nobody in the country thought Burmeister would outplay Howe. Yeah. Nobody in the country thought that would happen. Hey, Tyler Campbell said stat that will be overlooked. UNC zero punt return yards, shortest field, UNC 39. Tech out coach Mac Brown, Fuente 5-1 and one against North Carolina. Beating UVA is nice to hell with UNC. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's awesome. True. That's this awesome. This all happened. Yeah. I'm glad Fuente has somebody's number. You I want that. good things for Vatek and Fuente. College, I grew up in a day where, where Vatek was the premium team in the ACC because Florida State was kind of doing a little bit of up and down, up and down. Miami was dead after they won their last national title in the 90s. They, they, the they weren't East. very good a whole lot after that. And then, and then, yeah, it's just Vatek was the big team. Vatek was the strong. They, they were the Clemson of the day. Yes. And they've been, they've kind of been gone for so long. It's fun when they're back. It's good when they're back. It is. It is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.